Dobbins starts out for the rush hour in the good old days of horse cars. This is the way they hurried to the office, and that two horsepower speed was considered the last word in progress, a marvel of its day, as was the motion picture, flicker and all. A rare piece of the earliest motion picture news photography, steam locomotives hauled New York's elevated trains. Housewives in second-story dwellings enjoyed all the advantages of a steam bath, grand for lace curtains and things. From the looks of this scene at 42nd Street and 5th Avenue, the automobile has come to stay, and the derby, too. Here's one of the busiest corners in the world, the mad rush of a metropolis. Horatio Alger newsboys shouting their wares, horse cars streaking down the street. And do you believe those comedy cops appeared only in early Hollywood? Here's the real thing. Bertha the sewing machine girl hard at work, but the day is over and Bertha and her sisters leave all decked out in the latest style. Gay 90s fashions for the poor working girl. of the well-dressed woman and man appearing in the season's new fashions on Old Fifth Avenue. Here are those police again, herding the first subway crowd the day New York's subway opened. It's all a hustle and a bustle. Imagine those dresses in a rush hour today. Now it's to the field of sports in the good old 90s. A bit of strenuous exercise. Sport clothes have their points, as well as their stripes. It's a he-man's game, as one can readily see. Score is love all. Why doesn't she take that hat off? What action, what speed, what stamina? Better look in the mirror before laughing at these hats. Crowds greet the greatest of modern actresses, the Divine Sarah, on one of her American tours. A rare picture indeed of the great tragedian's classic features. It is given to few people to cause as much merriment as America's lovable comedian, John Bunny. One twist of his face and a nation roared. Besides inventing the telephone, the Scottish-American scientist was devoted to research and experiment to aid the deaf. Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders triumphantly returned from San Juan Hill and the Spanish-American War, a truly remarkable early movie. They hadn't started the use of ticker tape and confetti for heroes in those days, but probably Teddy would not have liked it. There's T.R. himself riding with his men. he became New York's governor, and again the Rough Riders are with him. A great leader, a strenuous American. Benefactress of a world, Madame Curie, discoverer of radium. Nobel Prize winner and first woman elected to the French Academy. The Wizard of Menlo Park, America's greatest inventive genius. The beginning of a great public career. Friends gather around Professor Woodrow Wilson, as do the well-dressed cameramen. He's receiving election returns in his race for the New Jersey governorship. <laughs> Chicago's Michigan Boulevard teemed with activity near the turn of the century. Motor cars compete with horse-drawn vehicles for the right of way. Tandems like these rushed many a passenger in station buses along LaSalle Street. And Market Street in San Francisco seemed to have everything too, except 
traffic regulations. With these newfangled automobiles careening in every direction, a man's life isn't safe. Streetcars are surely accommodating. Right side, left side, they stop anywhere for a fair lady passenger. The Golden Gate City is up to date too with its ferry bus. Nothing can ever take the place of this old time thrill. Fire horses, rushing to position at the sound of the bell, straining at the bits in their mad dash through the streets. A noble animal, specialized and devoted in his task, now gone forever in the saving of men's life and property. fair daughters gossiping before the dip in the deep. Or are they just modeling these new bathing suits? Here they come down the line. My, she has originality or something. Greatest bevy of blushing beauties ever to face a judge's stand. Was there ever such a conglomerate aggregation of variegated costumes? Such an array of champion glamour. What supreme confidence, what poise, what grace. Everyone a winner in her own opinion. All the dash of it, the youthful spirit, the utter bravado. Like fairy queens with parasols for magic wands. How winsomely they smile. How proudly they model their own ideas of what a bathing costume should be. How coyly they strive to charm the deciding judges. May the best girl win. <laughs> Next year, maybe she can ride Lady Godiva's white horse. They did it then as they are doing it now, only they had more hair to do then. There's nothing so new about the up, off the face hairdo. As for fashion models, we'll back up the girls of yesteryear against those of today, plume, coyness, and all. Now, now we're really seeing something. We never witnessed a better team in the shottish. No, that isn't the shottish, it's the polka. No, it's the waltz. No, it's the two-step. Well, take your choice. Anyway, we call that real teamwork. certainly were on the up and up at Coney Island. Papa twinkles his toes on the tightrope. And then Mama, with equal nerve and grit, amazes the gaping crowd with a few demonstrations of how she leads a balanced existence. It's a heavy responsibility for the tightrope. Anyway, the crowd likes it. Sweet apple blossom time and a gliding ride back home. Smooth sailing these spring days. With the birds chirping. Everything vibrant with life. The leisurely way of yesterday is over. A new order has taken its place. Another era starts up fast and the wheels of the world move on. 